Very often, within the popular culture, it's asserted that science has disproven the existence of God. I've had parents come up to me sharing how their son or their daughter no longer believe in God's existence because they believe in science, implying that science has proven that God doesn't exist. But is this the case? Can science disprove the existence of God? Perhaps a better question would be, does science even have the capability to disprove God's existence? Now, keep in mind I'm using the term science here in its modern sense, the method by which we come to know and explain the various phenomena within our physical universe. But as to the question, can science disprove God's existence, the answer simply is no, for two reasons. The first reason why science cannot disprove God's existence is because disproving the existence of anything through empirical observation, which is what science relies upon in order to come to knowledge about reality, is virtually impossible. If I want to prove the existence of something through empirical observation, say a dog, it's quite simple. All I have to do is observe one dog and then have others verify that observation and then the endeavor is complete. However, if I want to disprove the existence of something or prove the non-existence of something through empirical observation, it's a bit more difficult. I would have to do four things. First of all, I would have to be certain that whatever I'm trying to disprove the existence of is actually within my powers of observation. Secondly, I would have to observe every single thing that there is to be observed. Thirdly, I would have to be certain that I have exhausted the entire range of possible observations. In other words, I would have to know that I have observed everything that there is to be observed. And then fourthly and finally, I would have to simply notice that whatever I'm trying to disprove the existence of is actually not there. Needless to say, this is virtually impossible. Let me give you an example to sort of flesh this out for you. Let's think about of how daunting of a task it would be to prove the non-existence of, say, aliens within the universe through empirical observation. And let's start simply with the facilities here at the office. First of all, I would have to observe every single spatial location that there is to be observed. So I would have to look in rooms, in closets, in the bathrooms, in the attic, etc. And I would also have to be certain that I have exhausted the entire range of possible locations to be observed. Furthermore, I would have to be certain that those aliens didn't have the ability to teleport to another spatial location the second I opened the closet door. I would also have to be certain that the aliens or are actually within my natural observational powers and not microscopically small to where they could be hiding in the crevices of the light fixtures. I think you get the point. If it's this daunting of a task to prove the non-existence of aliens through empirical observation simply here within the facilities of the office, well then how much more daunting of a task it would be to prove the non-existence of aliens through empirical observations, say, on the planet, in our solar system, in our galaxy, in our universe with 10 to the 11 galaxies consisting of 10 to the 22 stars in each star probably having a planet orbiting it. I don't think we're going to be able to prove the non-existence of aliens in the universe through empirical observation. So. We can see how disproving the existence of virtually anything through empirical observation is virtually impossible. Therefore, it's virtually impossible to disprove the existence of God through science. Now, the second reason why science can't disprove God's existence is because science is restricted to observational data within the universe. God is outside the universe. Let me explain. You see, science deals only with those things that are subject to our observational powers within the universe. So it's limited to physical reality within our physical universe. Therefore, anything outside our universe, or transcendent, and in this case God, 
simply cannot be subject to scientific inquiry. Such things go beyond the scope of natural science and the scientific method. Now, even if it was possible to disprove the existence of something through empirical observation, one still cannot use observational data from within the universe to disprove or even prove some entity like God beyond that data source. The data simply doesn't apply. For example, to try and disprove the existence of God with observational data from within the universe is akin to, as Father Robert Spitzer likes to say, a cartoon character assembling data from within the cartoon to try and disprove the existence of the cartoonist. <laughs> it's not going to happen. The data simply does not apply. The point is, is that no matter how much data one gathers from within the universe, that data cannot disprove or even prove an entity like God that is beyond or transcending that data source. So one might formulate the argument as follows. Number one, science cannot disprove that which is beyond its data source. Two, God is beyond scientific data. Three, therefore, science cannot disprove God's existence. So, in sum, there are two reasons why science can't disprove God's existence. First, disproving the existence of anything through empirical observation, which, remember, science is restricted to, is virtually impossible. Secondly, science is restricted to observational data within our universe. And therefore, that data cannot be used to disprove or even prove an entity like God beyond that data source or beyond the universe. Hence, science cannot disprove the existence of God. Therefore, one need not give up their faith or their belief in God's existence for science.